and now we have it started and recording both on zoom and on the b3 so welcome everybody my name is Stephen Valenti and I'm here from Boston Massachusetts uh, presenting uh, to everybody all our friends over in Europe and um, wanted to show some of the reach technology that we have available and we're introducing to the European nations um, you know, if you have not heard of Reach, we've been a, a manufacturer that's been uh, a global player in the lecture capture and streaming business. And let me get the um, PowerPoint running full screen for now. And I will duplicate settings so everything looks cool. There we go. Okay, so what we're showing today is um, the REACH lineup where we're experts in capture, streaming, and recording video. We have several different product lines uh, within the family of REACH. We're going to focus today mostly on the, uh, the entry-level products, and we're going to highlight one very interesting uh, mid-level product called the B9 Plus as well. But uh, to start off with, uh, obviously there's been a lot of interest in the reach family with all of the new stuff going on in the world um, unfortunately due to covid and um, you know we're seeing requirements that are changing in the business space uh, with social distancing and uh, reach our product line has exploded uh, in terms of requirements uh, and requests for demos and, and actual applications and implementation for stretching out classrooms, so, you know, having uh, social distancing in classrooms, having overflow classrooms, all of that. So, um, you know, we've seen many different studies done by Gartner and other people. And, you know, Reach has been doing this since 2003, uh, where we're using AI or, you know, artificial intelligence to actually improve the, al you know, the algorithms of how people are watching um, events uh, and watching trainings and make it more interactive and that's kind of the strength that reach brings to this all that experience in streaming and recording um, plays a part right now um, that makes it a more exciting experience for example I can switch and change things and keep things live so people tend to stay entertained um, but uh, we will go into talking a little bit about why the new norm is happening, but everybody recognizes it. Everyone's seen Google and Teams and uh, Hangouts and all these different companies uh, fighting. And because of that, um, people are jumping onto the Internet and learning how to do Zoom or Skype Teams, Skype for Business Teams, all that stuff. Suddenly they're realizing a laptop camera is not a sufficient tool for most educators and most expert trainers. So, you know, this is an example over at Harvard where they've had to spread out the classroom. Um, and that you can see up in the top there, um, all, that room used to hold about 70 students. Now it's down to about 25. And they're having to remove the students to other rooms and also have them participate from their dorm rooms. And the REACH solution lends itself directly to that with some of their either smart switching or their auto tracking solutions or um, even their extended room solutions where we do the interact interactive mode. Um, so this is kind of a fun product line and, and we're hoping that you guys will get excited about using it and calling us for help and laying out projects because um, things are changing. You know, last year the huddle room was kind of the big deal in the uh, AV space, um, those huddle rooms I don't think are going to go away. They're just going to change. They're going to want to be remote rooms. They're going to want to be able to huddle with one person that's going to have a meeting with a team of people that are often maybe Zoom rooms or everything else. And, and frankly, we have products like the B3 that fit very nicely into that that I'm using today. Okay. Some fast facts on Reach. You know, we started up in 2003. We're in over 21 countries worldwide. We have engineering over 120 people within this, the engineering of hardware and software. And, you know, we, we pride ourselves on the fact that we do everything in-house. And 
because of that, like a Samsung or a Panasonic, we don't need to reap profits from, um, you know, going out and charging every nickel and dime for software users and players and uh, annual fees and all that stuff. No, when, when you buy a REACH solution, especially um, for schools and everything else, you'll find that there's really, you buy it, you own it, there's no annual fees. You can buy extended warranties if you want, but that's made us very popular in the, the education and house of worship business. Um, government and, and corporate and healthcare are a little more used to um, annual fees and subscriptions, but that's not something that we, the reason why we end up in the healthcare market is because our high level of uh, um, medical products that we do that with very complex video solutions uh, for three-dimensional recording or some of those type of things. But we won't spend time on that today. Today we're going to spend more time on really where we fit in the government, corporate training, whether it might be town meetings uh, or it could be the, the education space. Okay, And in this arena, we, fit, we have products for the you know, live sporting events with some of our wireless cameras um, and our YCAT solution. We have the lecture halls well contained within our B9 and auto tracking, auto switching product. And then obviously the smart classroom, which is uh, a booming part of our business now with either the B9 plus or the B3 plus products. So let's take a dive into that and take a look at those products in particular. Um, and actually understanding what's going on in the classrooms today. Um, if you haven't heard the term flipped classroom, I think it's something anyone in the AV space needs to start to understand. And I'll just give you a very brief under, uh, overview of that. But it's essentially taking your homework and doing that in class with the expert, subject matter expert in the classroom. Okay? And then you go home and you listen to the lecture offline or online. Right? And the benefit of doing that is that now you're finding that people's retention is going up and there's been plenty of studies done by Department of Education um, about flipped classrooms and how many, many uh, colleges and universities have moved to this type of uh, design um, and this strategy with students. And the key to it is always gaining more retention so the kids learn faster and retain longer. And if you can go into the classroom and ask the teacher what does this homework mean or how do I do this answer this question a lot of other students probably had that same thought and now it's all being discussed as a group and understanding of the subject matter goes way up well we've been doing that since 2003 and that's what our business is all about and now that COVID has hit the home learning and all that people are struggling with how to make that work well and it's something that we're experts in and we can continue with the existing workflow by working with you know google classroom and uh, blackboard or moodle or all these different um, you know classroom management platforms so the, the student administration doesn't have to change their workflow the teachers can just walk in and simply start teaching and the system's fully automated So, into the product line. Um, less to say, we have quite a few products. Like I said before, we're going to focus mostly on the, um, the B3 and the B9 Plus today, but we can certainly do more of these lectures or, or webinars for you to touch on some of the other exciting products we have. Um, in the B3, this is the product that I'm showing here today, and you can see I've got a B3 tablet set up here, and on that tablet, I can also go in and let's see if I have my presets set up. You can see I can go in and control a PTZ, and if I want to take that up to a fuller screen, you can see I've got buttons down here, touchscreen control buttons. I've got my PTZ control buttons with different presets as well, and those are feeding in via USB into my laptop okay and that's what's actually providing the video for today's zoom call I'm also recording while I'm streaming so I could send this off to 
10,000 students in, let's say, or, or clients or whatever, worshipers in a house of worship application. Um, or I could be pumping this into a private group within a, 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 you know, a Skype for Business or a Teams meeting as well. Okay, But you see I've got right here very simple controls. I can touch the screen, go to Picture in Picture, um, change the preset if I want to change the view. Um, very simple, easy to control. Uh, if I want to start or stop recording, I've got those functions right here. Okay. The B3 has two inputs that are analog and one for IP. So there's a total of three inputs, and it can do picture in picture. So two images are recorded at once and combined together on the screen. Um, you can see here we can come in with a, your, your maybe you have a local camera maybe a desktop or, or a, um, a camera that's feeding it via, you know, like a document camera. We could have a laptop for presentation contact content, or we could have a hybrid IP camera, like we're going to talk about in a little bit with our HD21 series, which could be either an HDMI source or an IP source. Um, it can record locally on the hard drive, as well as you can download to a thumb drive, and you have some basic audio mic mixing built into it. The unit itself is 1080p, but it, we future-proofed it by making it a firmware chipset that's in there that can handle 4K. So with a firmware upgrade, you can later on upgrade and pay for that firmware to go to 4K if your customer needs to do that in the future. But you don't have to pay for it today. And then we can also take this unit and talk about the versatility of the B3. We can have it feed out to Facebook Live directly because it does have a streaming engine built into it. Or we can have it via USB feed like I'm doing today into a Zoom room, Skype for Business, Google Hangouts, um, Meet, um, any of those type of platforms collaboration where we can share the content. And I'm sorry, I've got this blocking part of the screen. And you can see there. Uh, how it feeds into Zoom or all those different things right out of the B3. So that package there, we've got a very cool little product in the B3 with a touchscreen control that's integrated. It can be rack mounted. It can be controlled by other third-party systems like Prestron or Kramer or any of those type of people. Um, we have a full uh, RS-232 or Telnet command set that's available through uh, contacting uh, Peter Cody and again, I mentioned before, this unit is very versatile in that it does RTSP and RTMP at the same time. So it's capable of sending video to an existing system or to something like a, a Facebook Live or YouTube right out of the box. It also has a web interface for control. So I can do the controls right on my touchscreen like I showed before. I can go over here and, and touch everything and control the, the setup like I did right now if I'm a teacher in the room or got, we've sold some systems to even, <laughs> as funny as it might sound, to a shoe salesman company um, where they wanted to have presets of different shoes that they were displaying for um, Macy's and Nordstrom's when COVID wouldn't let them go down to New York City to the buyer's offices. They were looking for a more creative way um, and more engaging way to present on Zoom so they bought this exact package, which is, you know, an HD21 camera, a B3, uh, Biodynamic Fox microphone, and put those all together and were able to set up presets and show different shoes and then go to a wide area stage shot of the person, you know, the, the salesman presenting the shoes to those uh, buyers. Um, but if they wanted to have a uh, web interface control, they could do everything from another administrator who's out of camera scene and control everything I'm doing on that touchscreen from a browser as well. And again, all of that is also controllable through RS-232 or 485 for Crestron or Extron or any of those type of guys. And you can see here, the, the, the goal is if you're doing multiple rooms or multiple classrooms, we have a, a full complement of products that will actually take and ingest that information and make it shareable. And that's where the media center comes in. Um, 
the media center actually can transcode into HTML5, which makes it available on any device without a plugin. So that makes a very powerful sharing tool for most universities or school systems or even corporate um, people who are doing you know, events and live events and they want to share that to their, their groups or teams. The Media Center is that sharing tool that resides in the environment and it uh, could be put up in the cloud, it could be put it on a server locally and it could also be put on uh, a VM virtual machine inside the corporate network. Um, it's a piece of software. We do sell hardware as well, but it can be licensed as software only and stood up in, within your enterprise network and be a sharing tool as well. So if you wanted to do something where you wanted to manage many, many rooms or many, many classrooms, we can do all that within the media center and schedule things out, schedule a whole semester's worth of recordings and all that stuff right from the, the media center pro okay but you don't need that in order to work with a zoom application or with a youtube it's an option so we, we're trying to show you that there's a lot of flexibility built into the family of of reach products another thing here to show is the um the actual hybrid camera so let's step back from the guys that want to record locally for that 4K or 1080p resolution, like a B3 will give you, or their, you know, another advantage of the B3 is it gives you redundant recording if you're doing a zoom like today and something happens with the network, it's still being recorded, you never lose the event, right? Um, the, you never have to re ask the event or moderator to do the event all over again either. Um, but let's say in a lot of cases like House of Worship, um, they might not have a budget. They want to start off with a solution. Our hybrid cameras are built specifically for that. These are multi-purpose cameras that can do many things at once. That's why we're calling them a hybrid camera. They can stream video via IP or via USB, as well as more traditional analog outputs like HDMI or HDSDI. Um, we have two versions of it. There is the 1080p version, which is the HD21N, and that's a product that uh, we're featuring kind of right now through Liberty AV. Uh, there's been a lot of marketing around that product because uh, it hits that sweet spot in terms of price and versatility. And then you have the HD30N, which is our 4K version of the same product, although it's in black instead of white. Um, the HD30N does all the same things except for it's 4K. Okay, so you've got your HDMI and SDI, your control capability all through RS-232 and 422. We have a keyboard as well if you want to have a joystick. Uh, that's called our um, compact keyboard CKB02. Uh, and um, this product allows you to, um, you know, run all outputs live all the time so it's kind of an installation dealer an AV dealers dream because they can have one product in stock and they could do their Crestron rooms their Kramer rooms they can do their zoom rooms they can do even their teams their Webex or they can do their YouTube streaming right directly out of this camera or Facebook live as well so all of these are available um, as you can see going by right out, out of the camera itself you have um, your 485, I'm sorry, your, your RJ45 connector here for your LAN and Ethernet. That gives you your, your IP streaming to YouTube. You've got HDMI output that can go into your local AV solution as well as your 3G or 6G SDI. And then your USB 2.0 allows us to pump into um, Zoom rooms and everything directly right into your laptop if you want better control and it has a web browser interface that can allow you to control this without any joystick or anything like that as well so it's a very versatile machine it's a, a lot of fun and they're in stock that's another thing there's been a lot of uh, products that have been um, you know specked out during the summer school business 
and right now a lot of manufacturers are having difficulty uh, delivering we have this product in stock um, so please let you know contact your liberty av salesperson um, and let them know and we can help you um, fulfill any needs right now moving through the into the b8 plus this is a fun product it's probably our our jackknife of all products um, it is the most versatile machine um, it can stream it can record it'll uh, record onto a usb if you download it as well um, it can ftp off to third-party systems it's got more inputs on the back of it it's got i think five different inputs on the back um, for capturing different signals so multiple camera angles visualizers uh, touch panels for promethean or smart boards can be integrated with this um, so it's think of it like the b3 plus on steroids it, it has a lot more inputs and again it's designed to um, handle a variety of applications um, some of the fun features and oh one thing also to add it too can also do the um, 1080p recording but could be upgraded in the future to 4k when you so choose so you can buy it out of the box 4k or you can buy it out of the box 1080p and then buy an upgrade firmware kit later on down the road but the nice thing about the b8 plus it records all those five individual inputs together in a smart switching so this is where we start adding in analytics and artificial intelligence to give you a better reproduction of video and we have what's called so there's actually technically although there's five sources coming into it there's six encoder boards really in it there's one for each input so the original resolution of every piece of content is being recorded and then the most common one to see is the sixth one which is the switched one which is automatically switching between content and what do i mean by that well we have some unique features besides the live streaming where we add in oh also i forgot to mention the director software this allows us to if you wanted to not automate it and you had a student body or an av director who wanted to manage it they can do all this switching manually using by downloading a free application and putting it on a windows machine but we also have the smart switch technology which actually will do the switching for you automated and it's like having a little director a little mini me built into the box so instead of having a volunteer in every classroom which most universities and colleges and high schools can't afford or corporate trainers this system will actually switch between the PowerPoint content and a video of the professor or students asking questions and it'll switch between those different inputs automatically okay based on logic artificial intelligence and knowing what's going on in the scene if you touch the PowerPoint it'll blow that up full screen what do I mean by touch it if you advance it on your laptop it simply recognizes that there's been pixel changes in motion detection it gets activated and switches intelligently to that scene full screen so it simulates me pushing a button here and going to full screen versus dropping down to picture side by side or anything like that so uh, i'm having to do it on my b3 manually but the b8 plus will do that automatically or sometimes we joke around joke about it being auto magically the next feature is a really popular feature it's called our Q QR code reader and I'm going to show you a quick demo of that <clears throat> and what this does is creates a micro stream inside the AV space so let's say you're at an auditorium we've done this in a lot of hospitals with grand rounds and the doctors who have the most senior eyes are sitting in the way back of the room and they're complaining to the AV department that they can't always see what's going on on this projection screen in the in the auditorium. Now they can put these little QR codes and put little labels on the back of the last 200 seats or so in the back of the classroom and be able to allow the doctors to go in and as soon as they hit the QR code 
It's going to be hard to see on my little screen here. But I'm looking now at a PowerPoint that's being generated here on a B8 right into my um, internet or going into my wireless network and my cell phone is picking that up and I don't have to download any plugins all I'm doing is getting a JPEG screen scrape so I can do this on everything whether it's a iPad or a tablet a Microsoft or Chromebook or even a Blackberry will allow me to, to display this and I can have up to 40 users get in this QR code or we call it the PowerPoint push feature um, and it's a terrific feature of the B8. So these are kind of two really special things using uh, artificial intelligence to make it a better presentation product for the AV space on the B8 Plus. And again, this can be tied into YouTube and Zoom and WebEx and all the popular uh, streaming apparatuses or solutions. And again, we can tie this into the media center for the sharing part if you want to manage it and have a uh, publication of it or manage who publishes what. And uh, there's also an administration of who can see uh, what videos throughout the media center. And then I want to introduce now the B9 Plus. This is probably a, a culmination of 10 years worth of, of product development uh, where we've taken products like our our B3, our B8, and our old B7, and putting them together in the B9 Plus where we're actually doing not just smart switching, but smart switching and auto tracking. And what do I mean by that? Well, this product can handle everything we talked about before. It can take your existing workflow using HD cameras in the room, document cameras or visualizers, computers, your audio system, and allow people to push that out to the Reach Media Center Pro where you can have file grouping and recordings and streamings and people can look at stuff live um, or on video on demand, authorization policies of who can see what, where, when. It's got a lot of inputs and outputs. I won't bore you with that today. But less to say, in its simplest application, we can literally have two cameras, or even we've had some installations now where we're just using one camera watching the teacher and doing auto tracking, auto switching, all between one camera, sending off two dif different zoom streams, one at wide angle using a 4K signal, and one at 1080p zoomed in and actually moving around. Um, so this product, let me show you that, that demo. That's probably going to be more effective than showing you this, this scene here. If I go over here, the goal is you know, to be able to see at any time a video or see a, a clean shot of the professor speaking at the front of the room. And we have on our, our Reach website, under reachus.tv, this video ready for anyone to play. And you can see here, we can have a camera in the back of the room and a camera in the front of the room. And on larger rooms, we would require a PTZ in the back of the room in order to handle something bigger than 10 meters by 10 meters or 30 feet by 30 feet, okay? Um, in this case, the original installation we did was using a PTZ, which did the auto tracking, and a fixed camera for the stage view. But with the new B9 Plus being able to handle 4K IP cameras, we can do this all with one camera in the back of the room and an optional camera in the front of the room for the student view. So we've cut down the number of products that your installation and uh, cost might uh, require. And we've cut down on the um, the the uh, the need for a PTZ in that case for smaller rooms. So this has been really popular now in some of the smart classrooms, and allowing the teachers to be freed up from technology, and have the auto tracking and auto switching or smart switching between PowerPoint content, 
between the zoom shot and the student's shot if I if I walk through or if a student raises their hand it can capture that audience participation inside the, the view okay so tying this all in with your zoom rooms and everything else makes for a much more powerful uh, hybrid classroom and, and I, I think probably like uh, in the United States here we're being faced with a lot of challenges with hybrid classrooms and how to make it um, interactive and engaging for the students and this B9 plus with all the artificial intelligence really lends itself to that so please check out this video um, there's audio to it and I, I walk through the whole scenario um, I'll leave that at uh, for today if you just visit the website and under the um, reach demo I'll bring this up full screen um, reach B9 video you can click on that and it'll bring you right to this if you want to watch the full video okay <clears throat> moving right along back into the PowerPoint so the the goal of the B9 is to give people a crystal clear shot right and have that tie into their conferencing system to tie into their uh, zoom collaboration system but we also have the ability to tie into another B9 in another room. And we can do what's called the interactive mode. This is a really cool product where you can take and without anyone else's third party product, the product can remote over IP and stream to the remote room and have the students in the remote room be fully engaged with the teacher in the lecture room. So again, going back to social distancing and overflow rooms or training classrooms, the ability to do all this and keep it where it's smart switching is presenting the right materials to the students in the far room. And if they ask a question or raise their hand, they show up to the teacher and, and grab the attention of the teacher in the lecture room. So that interactive mode of two B9s is very unique and it's a very special product. And, you know, I suggest that you, you let us know how we can help you design that into some of your overflow training rooms. Okay. This slide, I'll leave it up for a second. It's an electronic uh, mouthful, but <laughs> it's basically showing how the presenter teacher camera is flowing through the first B9 over to the listening room over here and being displayed to the students via the different video outputs off of that machine of the B9 plus in the other room. So, and then the student cameras, looking at the students when they ask questions, will be reflected and displayed and switched back up on the lecturer's room uh, monitor so that they, it brings to the attention that they have questions in that other room, which gives you that, that that engagement, that immersion, so the people in that remote room no longer feel isolated. They're actually engaged and they're being switched and participating live with bi-directional audio and communications all happening through the B9 solution. Then lastly, I want to touch on the YCAT. This is a, a unique product that just won best of show at ISE, the last uh, you know show we were all allowed to go to. Um, and basically the product is a wireless studio in a box, quite literally. It's a streaming engine. It's a production product. It has wireless outdoor rated cameras that all come into it. Um, and it's a really fun product to demo and, and to show. Um, it's as simple as Pi to, to actually control and use. It's designed for the most layman of, of people, uh, from students to even old age homes. We've had old age homes buy this product and use it to streaming events and, and productions that they're doing uh, with the, 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 the population inside the um, elderly housing because of COVID. Their family haven't been able to come and visit them. So they've been able to stream that out to YouTube um, and let them participate um, and see their, their, their loved ones. Um, kind of unique in that it's all wireless um, and it, the cameras themselves have a, a pan and tilt head, um, and it's a 4K camera, so it can send two streams, one at zoom and one wide angle, out of the same product, 
all wireless, all weatherized, so they can be put outdoors in a football stadium um, and just turn them. They can be battery operated for about six hours. If you're doing a lot of motion pan and tilt control, it knocks it down to about four hours. Okay. Um, and it's all done wirelessly. We've even now improved the firmware and had a new firmware update that we can receive uh, from GoPros. We can receive video from drones. And we can receive videos from uh, iPhones and I Android products. So the students now can go around. They can capture stuff and do interviews on the field, pump that into the, uh, the, the YCAT, and have that pump it into YouTube or whatever your content delivery network wants to uh, absorb. Okay, so that's a real fun product. Again, very simple, all battery operated. It can be plugged in and hardwired, but the real beauty of it and the uniqueness of it is that all the components can be battery operated and wireless. Um, the tablet itself is not weatherized. The cameras are. Okay, and then the very last product is a sneak preview. We're about to launch the B1. This will be for those operators who don't have a budget um, that want to have a very simple recording system. Obviously, you can record, you can stream right out of the HD21, and that's the most versatile product in terms of a, of a camera and streaming engine all in one. But it does not record. So the, the B1 will be for that person that wants to add on a very simple recording engine to any camera product that's out there. And it has a web interface. Uh, it does not integrate into the media center, but it is just a simple recording solution. You can pull the files off and FTP it to another device if you want or to another third party solution. But again, for the budget uh, minded products, this fits right into that, that simple solution. Again, I want to thank you all for listening and um, letting us present to you. Um, I did not get a chance. Uh, Peter, have there been any questions in a chat room? I forgot to mention that's a good place for us to um, run through any questions that people might have. Um, I'll wait for that for a second. No questions that I've seen. Okay. Uh, but if anyone does have any questions after this, they can get in touch with myself anyway. Uh, and I can organize a one-on-one -on -one call with, with Steve and Bob from Reach there if we need to uh, go and explore some more of the products anyway. And we can get that organized. A bit more defined if it's someone is interested in the B8 or the B9 or even the B3 or the H21. Yeah, I'm skipping over all the other. I mean, there's. I forgot there's this many slides at the back. <laughs> There's, there's a whole bunch of product, but this is what I wanted to get to is say thank you. You know, obviously our website is here. If we can help in any way, by all means, reach out to us. Reach out to Peter and our friends at Liberty AV. Uh, let us know how we can help you. We look forward to working with your teams. Any other questions? Sounds good. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much, Steve. You got it. Thanks, Peter, for setting this up. Thanks, Katie.